Hi, I'm Bet from Bet's Makes, and today we're going to take a look at some dingbats that we can use within Design Space to make some gorgeous designs. Now we're going to start out in something called Main Type, and I'm just going to switch over there. And in Main Type, I have found my dingbats that are called KG Christmas Trees, and I can't remember where I got this font, but it was a free download. It was a uh, 1001 fonts, and it shows all the different dingbats I have and different trees that I can use within my design. Now, when we go back to Cricut Design Space, I have picked my font, KG Christmas Trees, and I'm just going to type in a letter here. Now, I never know what I'm going to get for a tree because it's hard to tell. And that's why I'm using main type. If I go back into main type, I can take a look at these dingbats and choose which tree I want to use in my design. For example, if I want one that looks like this, or I want to use the gift, I will then right click on it, copy it to the clipboard, come back to design space, and I'm going to paste it in place. Now I have an object that I can use in my own designs. It happens to be a font piece and it's called a dingbat, but then I can use it anywhere I want. So if I wanted to get another one of these to use in a design, I would simply go to text, make sure I have the right font selected, go over to the software called main type, and then I can come through and decide, okay, I've got that kind of gift. Maybe I need a tree to put it under. So I can pick a tree. That one's okay. Maybe I want, oh, that looks like a good tree. Okay, copy it to the clipboard. And then I'm just going to paste it in here. And then I have a tree that I can also use in any design that I'm using. And it saves me a lot of time by using dingbats so that I can pick and choose anything I want. Now, if I didn't know which font in Design Space, that's okay too. What I can do is start off by going to Main Type and deciding, okay, I don't like those dingbats, but maybe there's something else in the list that I can use. And let's take a look at some of these. This one looks like wingdings. Everybody should be familiar with those. And these are all kinds of different symbols, arrows, types that you could possibly want. So take a look at this one. I'm going to just right click on it, copy it to the clipboard, and it is called Wingdings. Remember the name. Alt-Tab, go back. I'm going to do a text box, and then we're going to come up here, and I'm going to type in Wingdings, and there it is, Wingdings. Make sure it's selected come down to the text box, paste it in, and I have my design. So the big key for all of this is your text box needs to match whatever you're going to paste in here, and then that will give you the symbol. So let's go back one more time. Now, wingdings were okay. We have another one called wingdings too that has other items in it. So for example, this looks like a nice design. I'm going to copy it to the clipboard. I'm going to come here, and this was Wingdings 2, not Wingdings, so we have to look at Wingdings 2. I'm going to paste it in here. We get our design, and now we can use it anywhere we want. So that's just a short lesson on how to use dingbats inside your design. I hope you really enjoyed this lesson and happy crafting.